Congratulations. You've made it to the airlines. You're here. This GoJet Pilot Group Union video series is being created in order to help you transition not only to the airlines, but into flying the line here at GoJet. This video is not, however, made exclusively for first officers or those new to GoJet. It's also made for captains who may need to refamiliarize themselves and or check themselves against established norms in the vocation of airline transport pilot. For first-timers just off OE, remember, your OE captain only has a limited amount of time with you. They're busy leaving quality check marks in boxes provided by the FAA. They may not have had time to show you or convey the finer details and nuances of flight deck etiquette presented in this video. This video was made to pick up where the SOPs and GOM leave off and the van ride to the hotel begins. Not all of the areas we'll cover hold the same importance, so I've ordered them in the following sequence. Friendly suggestions, highly advisable, and just short of SOP. They'll be indicated in the lower right-hand corner of the video with green, yellow, and red dots. Let's get started. Yes. The captain's side of the flight deck is loud. Do not, however, turn the display fan to the standby position, just to silence your work environment. The display CRTs are, as we all know, powered by AC electric fans. If the display fan is forgotten in the standby position and the aircraft powered down at night, at any time, AC power could be re-established, powering the CRTs, but not the fans keeping them cool. This leads to overheating, and accelerated deterioration of our CRTs. Instead, turn off the left pack and the research fan. The net result is equal, a silent workspace. There is no way of mistaking the right side up orientation of the EFB clip mount. The flange flares congruent with the spring loaded clip at the top make this obvious where the top is. Also, the inability to orient the clip in any other orientation other than the landscape further reinforces this, if it's installed upside down. If you want to flip the chart upside down, hey, no one's stopping you, but you will be returning it to the original and intended upright position before vacating the flight deck. First officers, when you see the red or pink stripe on the printer paper, it doesn't mean stop using the printer paper until you've handed the plane off to another crew. It simply means change the printer paper. If there's no more printer paper, tell your captain. You'll have maintenance bring more the next time you stop through base. It's still a part of the first officer's responsibility to copy the initial clearance if a PDC service is not available. Clipper 44, 45, Lincoln, clearance, clearance, Chicago Air Airport, S files, maintain 4000, expect flight level 31010 minutes after departure, departure frequency 124.0, squawk 7022. Please be sure that the captain is there to hear it over the loudspeaker. They may even copy it down in tandem just for redundancy's sake. This is my personal photo of a Southwest Airlines flight deck flight information sheet. They also take notes on other information pertinent to the flight and post it so that both pilots can read from it and see it from a distance. Now, why is this important? A recent Embry-Riddle study on operator error multi-crew accidents revealed that 80% of the time in pilot error accidents, a breakdown of communication played a key role in that accident. All real airline crews 
not only gather information, but share it with each other. Don't just jot down an altimeter setting and an ATIS code on your own yoke clip and call it a day. Print out a DATIS and write important bullet points on the side. Then post it. If there isn't a DATIS, well, then I guess you're just back to writing it down again. No excuses. Important bullet points should include ATIS code, altimeter settings, active runways, the gate that you're either at or going to if you're in the air. These are all just some of the important items that could and should be emphasized. There are two versions of hot miking, gratuitous and subtle. In the end, neither are appreciated. We are no longer in a prop environment. It's actually really quiet. Every nuance can be heard over an open intercom channel. It's enough to drive most pilots batty. Even during times when nothing's being said, static airflow pickup coming over an open intercom channel can be really annoying. Intercom is not the default position. Off is the default position. Intercom is not the default position. Off is the default position. Speak freely, but when you're done, turn your intercom off. We all know the importance of staying on top of your stick and rudder skills. That said, there's a time and place to practice them. High workload environments like flights under 40 minutes or during segments of rapid altitude, speed, or heading changes is not one of them. The pilot monitoring is already gonna have their hands full with quick frequency changes, altitude clearances, and callouts, not to mention checklists. Don't be the source of task saturation. Unload the flight deck and practice your flying skills during more opportune flights or segments. Use the autopilot as a tool, not only for safety, but for sanity. What in the hell is wrong with you, you farting bastard, you icehole? Don't touch the flaps until I tell you to touch the flaps. Who your parents related before they got married? Anger, aggravation, or just a short temper can affect us all, especially if we're feeling fatigued or overworked. But if you're chronically angry, you better find a way to turn your anger into a gift of motivation. You have the right to harbor anger. But absolutely, under no circumstances, is the unloading of anger at your first officer, or even a flight attendant or gate agent, in any way acceptable. Are you Captain Bitavoid? If you are, start forgiving yourself. Ask for the forgiveness of others when and where appropriate. And most importantly, reach out to a group or self-help reading before counseling is no longer an option or voluntary. <sighs> now that that's behind us, let's move on. Yep, people, including myself, have been known to touch the screens. Alcohol-based lens cleaners work great cleaning up CRT screens. However, use caution. Other products like the Sanicom and even mainline sanitizing wipes contain antiseptics, which can leave behind heavy streaks and thick films. They can often make the situation worse than it was when it started. And speaking of smudges, summer can lead windshields peppered with bug guts. If you've been out there smashing bugs with the same plane for a few legs, do the next crew a favor and order a bug wash from Ops before vacating the aircraft. Lastly, as you prepare to hand the aircraft off to a new crew, just think of the way you might like to get it when it's handed off to you. A few of the things you can do are, turn green needles back to white, set flap retraction altitude in the MDA, make sure you've turned off the D holds. If you don't, the navigation for DME, DME, won't auto-tune. As you get out of your seat, pop up the back and push it back all the way. It can be tough getting in these little airplanes if you don't. 
Some people want to see the seat belts hung down in the middle of the seats. So when I do remember and I have the time, I do it. Before leaving the flight deck, look back and throw away any garbage you've left behind. Being a little fatigued at the end of a long day is not a really good excuse leaving a few things scattered around the flight deck. If you bring it in, you take it out. Finally, if you find that the garbage bag's a little bit more than half full, just tear it off of the armrest, throw it in the entrance, and the cleaners will take it off the ship when they leave. That's it. The Union hopes that you've enjoyed this brief video and are learning not only from this video, but the other videos on trip trading, filing expenses, and bidding using Navtech that we've put together for you. Many more are still to come. I want to thank First Officer Gregory Wood and Zach Moody for helping with the production of this video. Fly safe, and we'll see you on the line.